All right, moving right along with the new DLC animals, we're coming up on the beaver into it. Uh, beavers are an animal that I really wanted added to Planet Zoo. Uh, you know, for a while, I didn't really use them much in Zoo Tycoon 2, but you know, having them, having the option of having them, I'm just happy to have them as a true-blooded Canadian. Uh, so one thing you might have noticed already from this area of the zoo is that I used a lot more uh, different types of plants. And almost like certain areas having certain types of plants. And I found that that really makes decorating it a lot easier. Like you see over here and into the Arctic Fox area, I have like tundra stuff. Of course, since it's a tundra area. This area, I have a lot more deciduous trees and the redwoods around this area, some alpine trees here, and some more coniferous trees here. And basically what I've done is each area of the zoo almost has a different kind of plant palette. And I feel like that, you know, makes it the look more cohesive. So you see in this area, you have the bracken, the ferns, the arrowwood, the Dutchman's breeches, and the twin flowers, and yeah, along with the different trees mixed in. Over for the beavers, you know, it's a little bit of a diff different palette. So I have the birch and the aspen for the trees, and then I have willows, white sage bushes, um, Labrador tea for the smaller plants. And these plants together, you know, make kind of a very nice palette in my opinion. You might be wondering why I use them for the beaver area. Well, beavers actually prefer uh, birch and aspen over other types of wood. So, of course, had to include them into the build. Now, I also included Labrador tea in this area because it's actually kind of like a marshland I don't know if the resolution always looks like that, and I've just never noticed, but anyways, it's a marshland plant, but don't think I'm going to be able to use them for the beaver exhibit, because I think they only like temperate plants, and I can't even remember. Rolling all the way down to see. Oh no, they like taiga, temperate, and grassland, so I will be able to use it. That's good. Uh, but yeah, with that, let's get on with the build.
So, uh, another exhibit done, and I like how it turns out. Uh, so, of course we have the beavers. So, uh, for this habitat, again I mentioned wanted to use that same palette, and of course I've been cattails, because now there's a body of rock water. A uh, pretty large body of water, the beavers seem to be spending most of their time swimming. I added a few downed trees here and there uh, through the exhibit. And, you know, the exhibit was looking pretty flat, so I thought of a way to give it depth. And that's by having a dam. Got a dam. Uh, so, yeah, have, for those of you who know, beavers make dams uh, to block off rivers and streams to make these marshlands that them and other species use, making them an ecosystem engineer. Uh, so yeah, I added the depth by having this kind of dried out part uh, of, the, of the river. And then added a bit of height to the habitat by putting that hill back there, which you can see the beavers are making use of. So yeah, again, mostly focus on birch, you know, it's no surprise what I mentioned at the beginning, that beavers prefer birch, and they added these new, uh, twigs and everything. Didn't want to add them all to that, because that would take forever <laughs> to add them all detail. You can see I cheated a bit by using different lots and everything, so. Yeah, I'm, I really like how the shelter turned out. I, of course, built it off camera, but I actually copy and pasted it a few times throughout this area. I like it so much, and I don't generally do that. Good addition to Planet Zoo, these beers. So, I'm happy with it. Uh, but, you know, let me know what you think. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.